Before the launch of PSVR 2, I put together a list of games that I really wanted to come out on Sony's at the time, brand new headset. And the headset is still pretty new, so there's plenty of time in its life cycle. We've got many, many years for a bunch of games to come out. So I put together a list, like I did before the headset came out, of the games that I want to see ported to this headset. The list that I made before launch has actually been fulfilled to a certain extent. We have games like Breaches, we have games like Vertigo 2, they're being brought onto the headset, but we are still sorely missing a couple of great games for the PSVR 2. So let's go through them and their likelihood of actually being ported to this incredible headset. First of all, we're getting the big obvious one out of the way. Half-Life Alex. Toted as one of the best VR games of all time and probably the best selling VR game of PC VR overall too. Half-Life Alex is a flawless masterpiece in my eyes which raised the bar of VR immersion with some of the best visuals, the best combat, and incredible storytelling that Valve is known for in what I think is one of the best VR games ever made. And I think the PSVR 2 port of this would be incredible, especially knowing Valve, they usually port stuff pretty damn well, and they're not afraid of porting their games over to other consoles, as we've seen them do it before. A port of Alex was rumoured before PSVR 2 came out, that never came to fruition for launch. Who knows, they could still be working on it, or it could just be a bunch of rumours, smoke and mirrors, which I personally think is more likely, but I would still love to see this one come to PSVR 2. I can just imagine seeing City 17 through those OLED displays. It would look so gorgeous. With eye tracking, the game could look and run at its peak. And combined with haptics for some of the immersive elements in the game, like refilling your health. If you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. The health refill stations essentially stick little needles into your hand in the game to refill your health bar. And I feel like the haptics of PSVR 2 go crazy on that. But overall, Half-Life Alex deserves all the praise that it gets. And it's one that I'm going to sorely miss if it never makes its way over to PSVR 2, which I really hope it does. It's a fully fleshed out story in the Half-Life universe that lives up to its namesake. And for the sake of the PlayStation player base and myself, because I love this game, I really hope it gets ported. Next up, we have Boneworks and Bone Lab. This is a game that does have a story to follow, but leans heavily into mods and custom sandbox content, a little bit like Gary's mod if you ever played that. I, to be honest, would be happy just getting the Bone Lab campaign on PSVR 2. The game itself is an incredible tech demo experiment on its own, and while the campaign isn't that long, I thoroughly enjoy playing through it, and I feel like the PSVR 2 player base would really enjoy it too. It's one of the best examples of VR immersion in terms of picking up objects and experimenting with the world. And I did label it a bit of a tech demo earlier because it kind of felt like that when I played through it. But don't get me wrong, it's incredible. And the Marrow engine it's built on is one of the most breathtaking in terms of physics interactions and world interactions I've ever seen in VR. Stress Level Zero, the devs for this one, have presented some interest in porting to PSVR 2. So this definitely could happen. But if they did, the likelihood of getting mods onto Bone Lab on PSVR 2 would probably be slim to none knowing Sony's policies. But as I said earlier, I would happily just get the campaign and the sandbox modes in the game's vanilla state because it still is worth it as a package just with that in my opinion. I've got a bunch of videos on Bone Lab mods too and don't get me wrong, they're incredible, but the game itself on its own deserves a spotlight too. And I really hope we get to see this one ported to the headset. My hopes aren't exactly very high, we haven't heard much. Since Stress Level Zero announced they kind of wanted to look into PSVR 2, but fingers crossed for the future. But my third game, I present to you Subnautica, a game I tried in VR for the first time about two months ago. Subnautica in VR absolutely blew me away, and if you're not familiar with it, it's an open world survival sci-fi game where you're underwater throughout the entire game's playthrough essentially, surviving, creating submarines, exploring, crafting, and avoiding massive looming underwater creatures. These leviathans in VR were absolutely terrifying. I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you want to go check it out. But the one thing that I commented on in that video was that I would love to see how Subnautica looks with full controller support on PSVR 2 through the OLED HDR panels because I think it would look incredible. The flora and the fauna of 4546B in Subnautica deserve that. Through the DPVR E4 headset that I was using, the game looked good, but it uses what is essentially a Quest 2 display in there which is not OLED, and I think the PSVR 2's OLED panels would have really make this world pop. And plus, Subnautica in VR is absolutely terrifying, so I really would love more people on PSVR 2 to experience that, but I think the likelihood of this one is very, very slim. 
if we ever did see anything come out of this studio in terms of PSVR 2, it would probably be a Subnautica sequel because I doubt they'd go back to Subnautica or Below Zero and port it over. But one of my pipe dreams is I hope that that does happen. Another game that I'm bringing over from my previous list before the PSVR 2 came out is Into the Radius. But instead of Into the Radius 1, I'm pinning my hopes on the Into the Radius sequel. I've played Into the Radius and it's an amazing VR game. It's essentially Stalker, but in VR. You go out on expeditions, avoiding anomalies, getting terrified by all the amazing sound design with some of the most immersive weapons handling and reload systems that VR has to offer. For an example, to reload your magazines, you put each individual bullet into that mag, put it in your gun, rack it like you should do, and then go to town on enemies. And when you get back, that weapon will have degraded and you have to use the tools available to you to clean those weapons and keep them in check. Otherwise, they will jam on you and maybe lead to your death. Into the Radius is full of immersive elements and moments like this, and I really hope it comes over to PSVR 2. And while the first game probably will not get a PSVR 2 port, the second game, I would say, has a big chance of doing so. The devs have properly started development on the sequel now. The final update for Into the Radius came out a couple months ago, I think. So I'm really hoping that the sequel, which will go bigger and better than the original, will come over to PSVR 2 because a game like this is sorely missed on this headset. I would say the likelihood of this is actually fairly likely, but for the original game, I would say slim to none. And for my final game, I want to throw Skyrim VR into the mix a game that I've been piling to play again since I put down and put away my original PSVR headset. I think Skyrim VR would be absolutely incredible if remastered for PSVR 2. Everyone knows, everyone and their mum knows what Skyrim is. I don't really need to explain it to you, I imagine. But I can actually talk to you about how the game was on the original PSVR headset. It ran pretty damn well, but looked fairly fuzzy. And I think on the PSVR 2, it would look absolutely incredible, especially with a revamped control system on the PSVR 2 with joysticks and the orbs and the haptics. Performing magic, firing arrows and doing melee combat would feel so much better on the new headset. I absolutely adored Skyrim VR on the original PSVR 1. But unfortunately, I have to say, there's a slim, slim chance that actually comes over to PSVR 2, if not a chance at all, because Microsoft now own Bethesda. As you've probably seen, Starfield is an Xbox and PC exclusive, so I don't see the Elder Scrolls Skyrim coming over to PSVR 2 at any point in the future. Your best bet for this is either to go play it on an original PSVR, which is a bit of a blurry mess with awful tracking, or to get it on PC VR and deck it out with mods. So that is another pipe dream one for me. I don't think it will happen, but I would be absolutely ecstatic if it did. Anyway, there we have it. That wraps up my top five most wanted PSVR 2 ports. Some of them I think could definitely happen and some of them I could think probably won't happen due to acquisition rules or just due to the nature of the game or studio interest. If there are any other games you'd love to see ported to PSVR 2, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. What games are you interested in? And are there any actual PSVR 2 releases that you're really looking forward to? One for me coming up very, very soon is Breaches. And I cannot wait to show that off to you guys because that game is something special. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.